If I was smart than all of you, then definitely we never discussed about the thing team. We are discussing about the team because I am not smart as we all are. So today we are going to discuss the topic team building and we are going to give it a practical approach. Right? So let's start. So first, let me quote, uh, let me quote, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress and working together is success. And we all are uh, doing the same now. Now, basic things which we have been already told to you, like a team is a group of people who work together towards a common goal. There's a wonderful saying, in mathematics, one plus one is equal to two. But when it comes to teamwork, one plus one can become 11, 111, 1,111. So it can go, go on producing results. So like that, there is teamwork, team players. So there's a, I, I want to put a shire, uh, which my CEO told when I was working in company. So a team player should be the one who enjoys the success as well as be part of the failure also. And we, we, know we are going through the phase of difficulties and we all are together. That's a wonderful uh, uh, way to portray that we all are good team players. And then it comes team building, that is the process of establishing and developing a greater sense of collaboration and trust between the members. So this is all, but that, that, that trust is very important if you want to call it as a team. Then what exactly is an effective team? Re remember, in order to call a team as an effective team, the uh, one thing what you need to understand is each one of is working efficiently. That is very important. What is efficiency? Efficiency is completing the task and that too with the minimum cost. If you are doing it, then you are an effective team because just completing the task is not important. That task should be completed with minimum resources and the cost. So can we go to the next one? Now, the characteristics, there should be a two-way trust. That means you will, be, you will be trusting your superior and the superior will be uh, trusting you. And there should be always a feedback on performance. We already much has been discussed on that, so I don't want to highlight anything about that. Then it should provide information to all members of the team. That is sharing of information is very important. Like whether that may be a positive or negative, that should be shared with, with the subordinates. And the listening, as Madam also highlighted, for a teacher as well as for a management, listening is very important. If you listen, then only you can act. So proper listening is one of the key for effective management. Then teamwork, it is a powerful, so I like this definition very much, a power fuel, a powerful fuel that allows common people to attain uncommon results. That is called as teamwork, right? And this teamwork is only possible with the help of building a strong team. Now, let's see how that can be done. Then uh, why we need to work as a team, the prime need of all people working together, we, we like to attain our objectives. Most of the time it is the profit because ultimately the economic objective is also very important with, with the achievement of personal and uh, social objectives. Then how to be an effective team member. So these are the few characteristics. I don't like to go in detail. I like to cover most of the things in a very uh, uh, in a very simple way, we, there should be a, a good communication. Then there should not be a policy to blame others for the failures. And you should always support you know, the group in its efforts. And no bragging, that means you should not pick back, uh, 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 you should not be telling about yourself for apne achievements ko highlight karna wo nahi hona chahiye. Then you should listen actively. Uh, I mentioned about it before also that you need to get involved as a group member. Then these are the few things which will help you to form a great team. That should be a good leadership. This is the prime thing because we are following our leader. So that should be, that should be a good leadership. And that leader should hire smart people. Because we, we, we find people who are hardworking, but even there is a need to hire smart people. 
done. Lots of training is required because I feel that unless we train, we cannot get what we want because training is one of the best way to tell what we want and how, you, how we like to extract that. And training tells you the best way of doing the job also. The next, how to create a team. Now, this is a wonderful uh, picture I like. That's why I added it. Team formation takes time and usually follows some easily recognizable stages as the team, the, the team journeys from being a group of strangers to becoming a united team with a common goal. See, having this is very important, common goal. Because if that there is a only one, like there are four seats, but the steering is one. The reason is because we like to move at common direction. In the same way, the organization should also have a common Goal. Okay. Now this already explained by sir, but I like to uh, put it in a very different way. Now stages in team building that is forming, storming, norming, and performing. I like to give a wonderful uh, example for this. When, when we in, in the March we had a problem that is uh, we we were forced to see a situation of COVID nineteen. So what we did is we first connected over the phone. And we made a plan. Like Sir was telling that we are going for online classes. First, we will be going through uh, the Zoom app. And so what we did is we formed a solution for that. And once we came to college and when we were forced to this try by and all, what we felt is, oh, this is something new. And Madam knows that we had a lot of resistance also from view that it is not possible uploading Agandhi There are many calls from the student. Even I was the one who, who, who resisted. Then what we did is we did normal. We, we explained what exactly it is. We heard from people. We started solving problem. And then everyone were in the comfort zone. And then we started performing. And now we are seeing that there are very less issues. And even there are issues, we know how to confront them. So now let us go in detail, sir. The, as I said, forming provides a clear direction to establish the team's purpose and setting goals, etc. There will be a problem, that problem will be addressed and that the clear information about that problem will be given and what we like to extract from you, that clarity will be given in the forming stage. And then the next is, uh, in this, we need to, uh, I like to discuss this model. Uh, it will take too long time, but I want to put it in a very uh, short time. Because this is one of the techniques which I use when I uh, when I practice my, my management work. That is, this is called as Myers Briggs type indicator. This is one of the wonderful concepts which is discussed in human resource management. It tells us to divide the employees into eight categories: extroverts and introverts. The one who are very open, who like to discuss and one who keep their ideas with them and the who don't like to open. The next is, sensors are the one who are very practical and those who are not practical are intuitive people. And the next is thinkers. Thinkers are the one who are, uh, just let me put in a very exact manner that what the, the HR says. Yes. The intuitive are the one who are conscious and they are looks at the end, end picture. They want to see the work is done. But the, the sensors are the ones who like to follow a, practice, a, a method to achieve that. And then next comes that is thinkers and feelers. The thinker is the one who is a very logical person and the feeler is the one who is more emotional. And then judger is the one who is having, who is, who is very controlled and who is very rigid, but the perceiver is the one who is very flexible with his work. So now, what Mr. Mayors and Briggs, remember these, this is the this is the duo of uh, a father and daughter. And what they did is, they made totally 16 combinations out of it, and they given what exactly a group means. Like, as per them, there was a group which is mean to be a visionary group is different. So if you characterize them, then a lot assigning the work becomes very easy. So someday we will discuss about it in detail. Then you will get a clear picture of what. But if you have time, being a manager, 
please try to look at this model. This will definitely help you to understand your employees. Next. The stage two is storming. It provides a strong hands-on leadership to keep people taking and task focused. During this time, you come to know what all problems you are facing and there will be a resistance from employees. Then, next is norming. This, this course of behavior becomes established and an identifiable group culture emerges. People begin to enjoy each other's company and appreciate each other's contribution. So this is the third point which I have mentioned earlier that in this, uh, in this stage, everything becomes normalized and everyone is enjoying their job and they are contributing to the growth of the organization. Then the last one is performing. Now everything is set is now is to perform and get the result. Next. So these are the stages and the last one comes is that is a journey. Then next. Time. So this is how this you need to understand the for, forming, storming, performing, norming. What happens here? Here they don't have any knowledge. They just accepted that oh, we will be working. Then they still they don't have trust because they don't know what it is. Then there is no uh, meaning of trusting anyone. Then in the storming, the distrust happens because they start resisting to the job. And here also, here there is knowledge, but it, there is no proper coordination. Then in the norming stage, what, what happens? They start sharing this knowledge with each other. And then they started collaboration. In the morning, somebody discussed, but exactly I want to tell you what collaboration means. When you cannot do anything alone and you are ready to do it with others, then it becomes collaboration. And this makes this storming as norming. Otherwise, this storm would never normalize. And then last becomes performing. And performing involves the creation of knowledge as well as synergize. Right? What is synergize? Anyone who can tell me? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, that is synergy. So can we go to the next? Okay, so what are the team leader roles? I think this is one which every one of us should follow. First, we should have the ability to control over the things. Then we should inspire our subordinates. Then we should have the ability to adjust. Then update the organizational rules. Jovi that updating that advising your subordinates and at the time of emergencies even you should have attitude to consult also that what are the characteristics of good team they work naturally trust each other there should be a good communication they are supportive in nature then there, there is a participation then they are innovative because being innovative is one of the, it is the need of the uh, so if you are not innovative then you are not going to stay in the market for long time the next is there should be a motivation that makes them to work and they should be motivating each other. Now, what happens when you work as a team? The problems will be solved very easily that we experience in our day-to-day -day life uh, a job that teamwork is giving us solution very quickly and it is improving the productivity. Then there is a uh, better, uh, like that is better idea of what we are doing and the decision making ability is also there then motivation motivating each each other if also possible with the help of team work then tips for team building so, so these are not uh, synchronized properly then these are also called as 10 c's also that should be a clear expectation what i am expecting from you right so for example if i tell a teacher that I'm expecting a question paper from you. I should mention the time and I should mention the marks so that I, I, I mention my expectation very clearly. Then that should be a commitment to your work. That should be a competence, right? And control, collaboration, communication, creative innovation, consequences, uh, then coordination, then cultural changes. So these are the tips for uh, team building. Then next up. Building a winning team is a process and teamwork is essential in any great human endeavor. Yes, that is right. Now, these are the few laws which I like to mention, which will help you to work in, uh, uh, help you to uh, 
make a good thing. The first one is law of significance. One is too small a number to achieve greatness. So we should be always in growth. So we, we should remember because most of us sometimes have attitude that oh I should I should be highlighted, right? Or I am the only one who can do it. And at the end we end up uh, end up in doing the things either imperfectly or it remains undone. Then next is law of the big picture. The goal is more important than the role that we should always remember. That's what I said. Few of us always may feel that mera naam aana chahiye. It is not that mera naam. The work should be done from the department. That should be the object. Then the next is law of the position. A sign of a great team leader is the proper placement of people. If you come to the pure laws of management, he says putting the right person at right place at the right time is the work of the manager. So that we should always keep in mind. That is uh, uh, putting the right person at right place. That this is one of the best statements I liked about the first person who climbed the Mount Everest with Edmund Hillary. That is Tenzing Norgay. What he said is, you do not climb a mountain like Everest by trying to race ahead on your own or by competing with your comrades. You do it slowly and carefully by unselfish teamwork. See, remember the one who reached it the first is saying about this. Then we can understand in our small jobs which we do in every day. I think we can follow the same thing. You don't be bothered about the pace or you don't like to go ahead of anyone. You just try to be with your team. Cooperate, collaborate, then definitely success will be yours. That next, the strength of the team is impinged by the weakest link. So what we need to remember is what we need to do is this slide will tell you the next also. Either you make that as a strong or you keep it up. So there is a only one way to do it. If the strength <laughs> is weak at some part, it can be broken by the same reason. That's what it says. The strength of the team is impinged by the weakest. Link the next is law of the catalyst. Winning teams have players who make things happen. Remember, the losers cannot make a good team. The one who has an appetite to win and do better can make a very good team. Then the law of compass. See, vision gives team members direction and confidence. Because if you are running and you don't know where, where is which is your destination, it is not possible. It should you should give a clear. Vision that the moral uh, the, uh, yes, the next one that the law of bad apple the rot rotten attitudes ruin a team. See if you have something negative, then definitely that's going to hurt your team. Then the last one is law of the price tag. This is very important. The team fails to reach its potential when it fails to pay the price. Remember, by efforts we maybe we are not paying it monetarily. We are paying it by efforts. If you pay less, that then the success will not be yours. Then law of communication. Remember, interaction fuels the action. If there is no interaction, many times if somebody comes and asks you why you have not, then you say that so it was not intimated to me. It, it happened because there was no communication. Then the law of high morale. When you are winning, nothing hurts. Keep that in mind. Then the last one is keep these things in mind. So the last sentence of this: Everyone has a bad day. Everyone has problems, heartache, happiness, and great days. You are responsible to take good care of yourself. You can make a difference. You keep always this in your mind. And thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to. Speak on this. Thank you. It was very fast because the time was very less. Thank you very much, sir. So now, the Shamsin Sir will start the presentation.